Can you hear Pixie? Do you know what's so, so funny? We're well, not funny, but just unbelievable. Pixie is so good in the car and she's as quiet as a mouse. And then as soon as we park up in this Pacific car park, the vet car park, she starts creating. What's a and they've never done anything to her. She's never had a bad experience at the vet. But as soon as we get into the car park, she'll start whining and getting like really anxious. And the whole time we're in there, she'll be like, row, 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 row. like it's the worst thing in the world. It's like it must have a scent or something that she doesn't like. It's so strange. So we are in the vet this morning because if you've watched me for a while, you'll know that she has like um, a skin issue. And I've been to the vets so many times. I've tried every shampoo and every online forum of what could possibly be wrong um the last time i went they gave me some tablets that she has once daily and also some shampoo that she gets bathed once weekly and i don't know if it's the shampoo or the tablets but it seems to really help with her skin and it's really cleared it up because she was just like itching and gnawing and until the point that she was hurting herself whereas it's really cleared up now but i don't know which it was the tablets or the shampoo so i don't know if they're going to give me both again but yeah the vets is an expensive thing isn't it it's not what i really want to be spending our money on but needs must to the vets we go danny's at home with uh baby ella because he's off today come on lulu come on me come on she's so oh, bless her come on darling come on come on come on sweetheart there she is there's Lulu. She's so worried. No, she's come to the store. She's like, I don't know how to get to you, mommy. I don't know how. Come on then, let's go to the vet. It's okay. Oh, bless her. Oh, it's okay, darling. It's okay. I won't let them hurt you. We're all done at the vets and Pixie done really well. Um, I got a prescription for some more medication. Um, if you buy medication from the vet, the price they charge for medication is extortionate. You can get it for like a third of the price if you order their medication online. You just have to get a prescription. So that's what I do. And I'm like, how long can you give me a prescription for? She's like, I can do three months. And I'm like, okay, because obviously the longer the prescription's for, the more medication I can buy in one go, because otherwise I need to pay to see the vet to get the prescription. They charge a tenner for the piece of paper just to say yeah she can buy the medicine do you know what I mean so it works out so much cheaper to buy it online so that was 50 quid just to see the vet and get a prescription and I've got no medication I still need to buy the medication yet but if I was to get the medication from them it's expensive but yeah she said to see she wants to see her in six months just to give her blood tests and make sure she's okay because you know being on medication long term not great is it so she wants to check her liver function and her kidney function and all that so we'll do that in six months and then review the medication situation um the medication that she's on is called apoquil um it's for allergic reactions but it stops the immune system from overreacting that's what that's what they said it is it's a it's an allergic reaction to what i have no idea because it kind of just came out of nowhere and nothing changed like yeah i wash her bedding and stuff but i i've always washed her bedding and i use non-bio so i don't know what she's allergic to when i first took her they said she was allergic to grass and i was like mm, i don't see that she's allergic to grass because this year we haven't gone out as much as we would ordinarily previous years and she's never been allergic to grass before and i was like yeah i have a garden but half of it's grass and half of it's like paving slabs and i've got a wall because i don't like i don't like her weeing on pooing on my grass so i specifically built a wall for her so that she can go on the grass and play but she does her business on the actual concrete so that when my kids are you know getting in and out the pool and jumping up and down on the trampoline and stuff that <laughs> they're not going to step in her you know her business and stuff that's why i did it that way so it's not like she's on grass all the time i can't see her being allergic to grass and they're like well she's allergic to something but what i have no idea how a dog can get allergic reaction just randomly and during lockdown as well when we've not really gone anywhere it's like she's allergic to us or something <laughs> but yeah 
but yeah. You've done really well. She's calmed down now. She's not crying. She knows that it's been and done. They didn't hurt you. I mean, okay, they took your temperature and that's not the nicest thing in the world, but they didn't hurt you. <laughs> so yeah, right, home we go. <laughs> How inconspicuous is this? So, Danny pulled down the boxes from the attic, but we've not really gone through them all. So this is so the kids don't snoop, but you know. <laughs> this is all our Christmas stuff. So me and Danny need to go through all this, figure out who gets what. Um, because I'm sure Danny wrote a list, but now we can't find the list. So the list may even be in one of these boxes. That's probably what he's done. But um, during the sales and things like that, we go out and we pick things out. And then as I've been buying things, I've been putting them in with this pile. So we need to go through it all while the kids are still at school. Make a list, <laughs> check it twice and start wrapping. We need to get things sorted. Yes, we do, little girl. Because Christmas is almost here. Yes. Big presents, what, little presents. Actually. Do you want to feed her and then I'll start sorting? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can myself down if you need be or whatever. <laughs> Switch. Oh look, I've got a hairband. <laughs> okay. Oh look, what Ollie made last year. Or Liam, one of them. Yeah. I think that might be Liam because Ollie's still got his upstairs. Letters from the elf from last year. Nice. Oh, when? Ollie's letter to the elf. <sighs> okay, so. Elf. Of on the shelf. <laughs> one. Don't be naughty. Two. He even drew a little picture on. It's so funny. Don't be sly. I'll be and don't be cameras. burying stuff. <laughs> Liam's. Ollie's. Upside down, smiley face. Ella's. Cry. Although Ella doesn't have much for a stocking, you know, but yeah. she would fit in her stocking. Well, we should have a picture of her in her stocking. She's so cute. So first thing in their stockings is a Tango selection box. One, two, three. You've got to take a bow, so aren't you? Not to tell you're not allowed to tell them. No, don't tell. A little thing, right? For the older two, we've got. Christmas lights chargers. So one, two, that means Ollie needs something in his. Don't tell Pixie. Ollie can have some red headphones in his. Pajamas are their Christmas Eve box. There. Should I take prices off or we'll do that later? Do it later. Do that later, okay. Um, pants, Liam's, Cameron's, Ollie's. Definitely do it later, because I do it as like an amnesty. Let me chuck it in, eh? I'll just get their piles ready. Yeah, absolutely. Socks, Liam, Ollie, Cameron. Those bags are a star boy, aren't they? For a pants, they're bloody brilliant. Great size, mm. not too big. And then I've got Lego cup for Ollie. D and D dice for the older two. Green camera, blue. Liam. Ella's got nothing yet. She can have a D and D dice. <laughs> That's why she can't. I'm just gonna put money in Ella's bank and just get her a couple of bits. And then I've got these little 
matchstick games. So green, Cameron, blue, Liam, red, Ollie. Then I got two Christmassy pens, red, Ollie, blue, Liam, and then Cameron, I got him. It's like a wallet, what's this called? Like a utility thing. Utility card. A utility card for his wallet. I mean, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I think I've used mine one. Oh yeah, I have got Danny one previously, Ten but he's stocking. So. I think we need some like extra sweetie bits in it as well. Mm. But we're getting somewhere, aren't we? Yeah. So oh, I would say Ollie gets the spinner thing. Yeah, it's the most quietest toy of the lot. <laughs> yeah. Ollie. Harmonica, Liam or? And then Jack's. Uh, which one which? Liam gets the jacks. He's more likely to use it. Yeah. And the jacks, they'll play against each other anyway. I might do. I've got, I've got a set of dominoes as well. So that could be. I don't know. Ollie, and then two pocket VR things. Cameron and Liam. So that's nice and even then, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Got a fair amount as well. They've got a good amount. Just need some more sweets because they've only got the selection boxes. So maybe um, some chocolate coins or something like that. I don't know. Right. And an orange. That goes beside their bed. It doesn't go from there. That's the orange. Right, so that is the stockings done. Should I, should I put them in it? Hmm. Yeah? Okay. Don't you think that's more of a stocking present? You've got a I, might put, too, I might put it that for next year. Yeah. Yeah. Anything we decide not to give them, just because these boxes are like a running thing, aren't they? Yeah. It's just whenever we see gifts that are either good for someone in Pacific or a good deal, I pick things up, stick them in here, and then throughout the year, if we've got any birthdays that come up or anything that's over from Christmas, we give for their birthdays. It just it works out, doesn't it? So then. They know you go to Boots every January, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> so, Cameron's got a t-shirt, and then we have got him a guitar. So what I'm gonna say is all the guitar stuff just wrap up all together. Um, Minecraft, Lego, Ollie, like a music stand. Um, because Ollie's got that Lego table that Danny made for his birthday, we got the car set the racetrack set and then also i did pick up this one which is kind of like minecraft so i'm gonna give him as one present the lego i don't think this is actually lego but it's like lego compatible board with the minecraft set as one present isn't it i think we've got another one then have we uh yeah it's all or something so yeah collectively that'd be one present Liam's got a Atari joystick that uh, plays all the old games you just set up to the the TV, isn't it? Um, he loves all the retro video games and things like that, doesn't he? Yeah. He loves that. Minecraft. Cameron bought himself a Switch on Black Friday. He's been saving up his money um, because Liam got one for his birthday. He wanted one. So I've been getting bits for their Switches. So I got them controller, Cameron, Liam, and all the Switch stuff again, I'm just going to group together as one present. I haven't really done main presents this year. This year, more than most, has been quite difficult, and I know I say it every year, like every year it gets harder and harder, but the boys have everything, don't they? Yeah. They've got gaming laptops, they've got a Switch, they've got TVs in their rooms, They've and they, they generally don't play with toys toys, with, you know, Cameron being 18 and Liam being 13. It is, Ollie's pretty easy, he wants everything. But the older two, teenage boys are really hard to buy for. We've held back with uh, Ollie as well. So yeah. he's not got phones, he's not got... Yeah. So then they've got docking stations, so that'd be part of that present. Do you know what, I may just lay it all out and then show you. <laughs> rather than go through every single one. Yeah. It's taking a really long time, right? Yeah. Right, I'll be back. <laughs> so Cameron's pal, he's got a t-shirt, an air compressor for his car, 
this controller holder in the Joker and uh, it's like, I don't know, <laughs> it's technology stuff and I'm not good with technology stuff. Then he has his Switch bundle and then he has a guitar in the attic so he's got some bits for his guitar. So Liam has a sketching set, a lie detector build thing, he got the joystick and then he got his Switch bundle so I need to get him something else here. And then Ollie, he's just got like construction sets because that's honestly all he really likes. He got this, it's really cool. He's definitely gonna enjoy building that with Danny. A Lego head, the police Lego, or it's uh, b &M's version of Lego. So that will go with the set that he has on his table already. Got him these to build. And then the Minecraft set. So again, he needs something else. I'm gonna pop up to B&M later and see what I can't find. So far, Ella's got a little teddy. <laughs> I have bought her some rattles and things that are upstairs, but she's a newborn baby, so I don't know. My mum's pile, I got her a heated throw. This foot thing, um, Turkish Delight, she loves them. I kind of make my mum like it was stocking up. A glasses case, Nan's glasses. This little dish. Says, Mum, I love you to the moon and back. Um, gloves and scarf and hat set, and then this from Poundland because she has trouble sleeping, so she'll like that. We did pick up this from where was it? Aldi. Aldi's. Yeah, looking forward to playing this. It's a different take on crackers with a Cluedo thing, so that would be fun. So now I know what's going where and what I'm missing. I'm gonna put them in individual boxes and then start sorting out the rest of the things and other people that we give for. But at least I know what I'm missing because we're running out of time, aren't we, Danny? Yeah. So we kind of need to pull our finger out. 15th, <laughs> it's the 15th, so um, yeah, I need to know what I'm missing because I just pick things up as I see them. I don't necessarily work from a list and I pick things up early in the year so yeah, right, assign boxes to the boys and sort out the rest. So, Cameron's box, Liam's box, Ollie's box. Um, the top ones are from Bibi Haha, you know? That's what Ollie used to call for Christmas. This box is for other people. And then I picked this up last year in the sales and I'm gonna split it up and give one to Sherry, one to Lorna, one to my friend Nick, like with their card. Not really as a present, but just as a gesture. So. Their presents that are being gifted out and then these are the boxes that um, are to be continued <laughs> for another year that actually that soap and glory gift set Danny bought for me um, so really I need to wrap that up and give it to myself <laughs> and then I found this cup in my box that I want to keep for myself I'm gifting this to myself where it's got the stars and then you put a hot cup and it's got all the constellations on it so yeah that's for me so I found like a bigger present for Liam I got him this Bluetooth gaming soundbar I actually picked up two but I'm gonna hold one back for Cameron for his birthday um, couldn't find anything for Ollie as like a big present so if you've got any ideas please leave them in the description box because honestly he just loves construction stuff and um, yeah but I don't know you know you know that extra special present and then i did want to show you this is the bucket that anything that i've got for ella or other people have picked up for ella i've just put in here obviously she's not playing with anything like for instance um at work danny's work they got ella this which glows up and you put it in the bath although it's not working for some reason i don't know how oh there we go <laughs> which is cool and a book and they gave her clothes and blankets and lots of other bits Danny's cousin sent this in the post with some other bits and then you know I got this from the charity shop and this there's like lots of bits in here this is what Sherry got her so yeah it's pointless me going out and spending a fortune on baby things because she's got a ton of it so like I said I'm just going to put money in her bank for her so yeah I'm going to end this video and start another one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.